Welcome again to this firework course. My name is Javier Cerviño and today we will make our first steps in Fiverr account. In our previous class we saw an overall introduction of Fiverr account and the OAuth to the standard. But today we will register our own Fiverr account, we will create our organizations and we will manage roles of users into these organizations. Fiverr account is the identity manager of Fiverr. With it, we can manage users, their authentication, their authorization, and privileges of these users within organizations. The identity management creates new resources, such as users, organizations, roles, and applications. The users can register themselves, create organizations, and assign roles to other users into these organizations. The Identity Manager also enables applications to access users' protected information in a trusted environment and using the OAuth to the standard. If you are a developer, you can take a look at this URL to know more information about different OAuth libraries in different programming languages. Today, we will see a practical class in which we will have a geek blogger that will create his own blog, will create his account in Fiverr account and he will be able to act, to give access to other users to to his blog using the Fiverr management system. Okay, so to do, to do so he will register in Fiverr account, he will create a new organization which is the Git Readers organization and he will provide access to these Git Readers in the future. So today, to start, we will go to the lab.fireware.org to create our account. Here's the home page and we will access the identity manager. Here we can sign up our uh, new account and we, we will use a, a new account with a new email that we have taken from Gmail to create our user, that is the Git blogger. We will have to confirm our password and once we click on accept, it will send an email to our account. Okay, so we have to access to this email to accept. Here in this email we can also see uh, the terms and conditions about FileLab. Okay, so once we accept it, we are automatically logged in the FireWare account. Here we can see the home page of uh, our identity. We can access the settings to change the password, the email, or cancel our account. Okay. We can take a look at their organizations. Okay. Uh, so we will create a new organ organization that is the key readers in which we will add uh, later the, the key readers, other users uh, which uh, will belong to this organization. Okay. We'll have to put a short description of the organization just to uh, make other users know about it. Okay, we click on the on create organization and once we create it, we are uh, acting on belong on this of this organization. Okay. Here we can see the members of the organization and we will add new users to this organization. I have two accounts in the Fiverr account. Next we will see different roles for these uh, different uh, accounts I have and we provide a role to these uh, to these new members. We can also take a look at the applications we will see it in a future class and we can edit the attributes of the uh, of this new organization the email, the website and so on. For example we will change the avatar Okay, so once we upload a new image, we can scale it, we can crop it to adapt to the size of, the, of, the, of this new avatar. So once we have it fit, we click on crop image. And now we can see that we have changed the avatar. We can see it on, uh, on, the, on the upper sidebar. Okay, now we are 
acting as a key blocker and we see this organization, we can switch to acting on the long end of this, of, of this organization and we could destroy the organization as well. Okay, then we switch again to our git blocker profile. Here we can see again to change the password, to change the email, and cancel the account of the key, of the key blocker, not the organization, the key blocker. And if we switch again back to the git reader organization, we will change the role of one of the users to become uh, an owner. So we will see the difference between being an, an owner and being only a member of this organization. So I log out of this account and I sign and I log in uh, with the with the account that in which I have the roles, uh, the admin role for this organization. So I can see this organization, I can see the members of this of such organization, and I could even edit the settings of the Git Reader's organization. Okay. So if I sign out and, and sign in with a different account in which I don't have the privileges to, to become a, a, an admin, we'll see the difference here. Okay. So I can see it in the organization tab, but I cannot act in uh, on the long of this organization. So, thank you for attending this class and we will see you in the next class in which we will create our first OAuth application. Bye!